Hey, more 9800X3D details. Hey, a Neo 3. You got the jump on me. And hey, ARM is getting into shenanigans with Qualcomm. They want to cancel them. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news like find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Thursday, October 24th, 2024. That's two 24s in a row. That's too many. I can we just wait a day. Yeah, that works. All right. Well, you know what else works? More details about the 9800X3D. Hello. We've got details. It's leaking. No pricing. No pricing, but we got box art. That's hey, what it's going to look like. That's kind of cool. It looks like the Ryzen 9000 series, but with the 3DV cache badge. Yeah, it's a little shiny there. Look at that. Pretty. Wow. Additionally, there's more details coming out that we're going to get the second generation 3DV cache, whereas the 7800 and 5800X3Ds were still on first gen V cache. Mm -hmm. What that means, we don't know. It's just allegedly gonna be second it's newer. gen. It's newer, better, faster, stronger, better for you. And you know what else is good for you? Today's video sponsor. Hey you, are you online without a VPN? Come on, fellow, what are you doing? Don't worry though, today's video sponsor, Bitdefender, has you covered with their premium VPN. Bitdefender Premium VPN is powered by over 4,000 servers in over 49 countries. Thanks to their powerful algorithms, Bitdefender encrypts all of your traffic and routes it through a private tunnel for true online anonymity, meaning your sweet, sweet data is safe and secure. When you think of a VPN, I bet watching Netflix in another country comes to mind. When I lived in South Africa, I certainly used a VPN for that. Reese, you doing that while you're here in the US? I he, am. he is. With the click of a button, you can go from watching US Netflix to seeing what is currently available in Japan. If you're an on-the-go worker kind of person, you pretty much need a VPN. Connecting to public Wi-Fi without protection is nasty business. You simply turn on Bitdefender's premium VPN and boom, your device and data are safe from those sketchy public Wi-Fi hackers or anybody else who might be snooping on things. You even have the option to allow your VPN to auto-connect when on an unsecured network or start up automatically on your home device. And while you're browsing the internet safely on your home network, platforms may still be scraping your data for personalized ads. While some of these can be nice, you don't always want to see ads for everything you even think of searching for. Plus, some of them can actually be dangerous to your system. With ad blocker and anti-tracker built into Bitdefender's premium VPN, you can choose what ads you see and stop unwanted data collection while being able to whitelist your trusted websites like YouTube. Rest assured that you're covered even in the instance of a connection loss. Bitdefender has a kill switch option, which immediately cuts your internet traffic in the event of the connection being lost. You can check out Bitdefender's premium VPN today via the link in the description below and ensure that what happens on your network stays on your network. Huge thanks to Bit Defender for sponsoring. Well, while it won't be a mistake to go with Bit Defender, there was a mistake that came out yesterday with the Z2 Extreme leaks that we uh -oh. talked about. They misappropriately indicated that the Z2 Extreme was only going to have 12 compute units of RDNA 3.5. I thought that was a little weird, but mm -hmm. you know, turns out it's wrong. It's going to have more. It's going to have 16. It's going to be higher. Bigger Ooh. number better. And to make up for that, the leaker also indicating what the core count situation is going to be like. Yeah. So eight Zen 5 cores. Uh, but three of them are regular and five of them are Zen 5C. Mm. So it's gonna have three fast, five slower or more compact. Zen 5C is a weird one, but it's gonna have faster GPU than they said yesterday. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm cool with that. So that might be going into the I A and the Neo A 3. Neo 3. They're announcing that they're gonna announce something coming soon. And we don't so know. So it's an announcement of the announcement. Correct, yes. Oh, okay. Doing one of those. Yeah, that sums up what we do here on Hot News. Mm -hmm. uh, we Annual flagship coming soon. We don't know if it's going to be the Z2 APU, if it's going to be the Ryzen AI processor, or if they might go Intel. Probably not. Probably. They're probably going to stick with yeah, AMD. Yeah, it's probably, probably going to be AMD, but, you know, could surprise us. Are you going to surprise me with any good deals today? Maybe. Do it now. <laughs> and welcome back to UFT Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Look at this. Right over here, there's deals. But hey, first up today, we have the Corsair IQ2000D Airflow Mini ITX case available in white for only $69.99, making it $90 off. That looks like a nice case. I want to build them that. Yeah, I thought the same thing when I saw it. Ain't never built them that. I should build them that. And then continuing the Corsair train, we have this IQ H115i Elite Capellix XT. These new glasses are terrible because I got my rotation wrong. So no! Text is like, oh man, Reese can't read no more. I can't read. Which is currently going for $89.99 with included promo code, making it $90 or 50% off. And then lastly, we have the Alienware monitor that I actually want to grab. This 34 inch, 3440 by 1440, 165 hertz curved QD OLED gaming monitor is going for the lowest price I've seen it ever go for was $679.99, making it $220 off. And hey, with that, the deal's done. You can't bring done. that back with you. I can't, but there, it is available when in South Africa. When are you leaving? There is a day, apparently, allegedly, where I leave. Mm. One day. Mm. Might not be today. 
Might be tomorrow. And next year, and for the rest of your life. Mm hmm And hey, with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'll hand you off back to this guy for the rest of your hot news. Hand me off like a football. I, I don't know what that means. What do I do with my hand? Grab me and chuck me. Woo! <laughs> Buddy, a little too strong there, but that's exactly what Arm is doing. They're strong arming Qualcomm. It's I funny. Smell the coffee. That, I can smell it too. It spilled <laughs> out, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Apparently, Arm's very upset with how Qualcomm has chosen to handle their business, and they're threatening to remove their architecture license, which is that is massive. A huge deal. Because Qualcomm makes ARM chips for your phone, for Everyone's laptops, phones. And uh, Samsung, all of this goes bye-bye if ARM actually delivers on this threat. One of the big mm -hmm. reasons for this is because ARM has been suing Qualcomm over their acquisition of Nuvia back in 2022. And it's not the acquisition that's a problem, it's the fact that Nuvia had its own independent license with ARM, mm -hmm. and they're saying that when Qualcomm purchased Nuvia, that license didn't carry over. It was non-transferable based on the contract, and they need to destroy any ARM-based technology that's based on Nuvia. Except for, guess what happened recently? Snapdragon Summit happened. Qualcomm yeah. came out with their Snapdragon 8 Elite they 4. made a big deal about that, it. Yes, the new chip. That uses the Orion cores, or Orion, however you're supposed to say it, and those are based on Nuvia. So the biggest Ooh. chip that Snapdragon is launching is one that ARM is saying they legally cannot be using. And so now they've issued this ultimatum that they have to fix it or they will take away their license so that they are no longer eligible to actually sell ARM-based chips, which is everything Qualcomm does. That is, that is massive. That is, that's bad news. That is bad news, but the thing that I've been reading out on the internet and kind of the thought pieces around this is that ARM is a saber rattler, not mm -hmm. an actual company that you they they do this a lot where they threaten and threaten and threaten and threaten they're like that parent who always yells hey knock it off and then you keep you know roughhousing with your brothers and mm -hmm. you never actually stop because you don't respect them this would hurt arm too yes oh yeah it would be massive qualcomm has roughly 39 billion dollars in revenue most of that is from their chips and so you presume that arm is going to be losing that amount of income yeah. as well it's going to be rough for everybody all around. Additionally, we just talked recently, Qualcomm was gonna think about buying Intel. Mm -hmm. What happens if they can't use ARM? They just buy up Intel and now Qualcomm Intel. It's a merger rather than an acquisition and I don't know if that actually works. Intel inside all of Samsung phones moving forward. X86 camp just absolutely hamming it up right now with celebrations and champagne. Mm. Well, Qualcomm also announced at the same time, because they have their summit going on, that they're working with Google to create car AI stuff. That probably uses ARM. Mm -hmm. And so who knows if this will actually move forward, but uh, Qualcomm wants to be in more places. If ARM actually moves forward with this and can cancel their license, this is probably going to be bitter court Oh yeah, yeah. Sure. This, I think this is definitely going to play out in court more so now with more ferocity yeah more, animosity just more everything more epic versus apple vibes yeah yeah this is kind of unprecedented i've never seen a giant company lose their license like this before. i legitimately like that is shocking 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 we're shocked and i'm shocked at your comments Let's read them from yesterday. Over on YouTube, we got K, not saying that, Intel and Samsung, the two companies I want to love, but keep shooting themselves in the foot. Bang. Samsung shot in the foot if ARM uh, removes Qualcomm's license, because uh, there's details that were out recently that the Exynos 2500 was supposed to be used in all S25 series phones, mm -hmm. but it wasn't good enough, so they were going to go back to Qualcomm. But if Qualcomm's removed, they have to use their Exynos chips, yep. which are apparently sucky and power hungry and bad. Uh, Ultra Vegito saying, Intel and Samsung, the two giant inefficient CPU heating duo. It, they're working on the foundries. It's a little, it's slightly different. Then Jay Carmen saying, Oris AI Snatch. I thought this was a family channel. What, you don't want to grab your AI? <laughs> Snatched snatching it. it. Yeah. And then Dan Sim saying, from AI snatch to the PP15, then goop and gimps. What is happening here? Those are normal words, brother. What's the problem? Yeah, just keep putting them together. We said what we said. And then Sid Liv saying, heard the shot caller comment. I recently watched that movie. You have too good a heart to become a shot caller. Love you, Brett, and really look forward to breakfast every day. I don't know what movie you're talking about because I didn't say that. Uh, Eric had the right idea. I thought he said shock caller. That's what I thought. That's what I said, because I was just saying that word. That I, you should have shocked me. 
Yeah. I should have had a shock collar. I don't know what movie you're talking about. I'm not too nice. I don't have too good of a heart. Elaborate. I will commit many negative things off camera. Good. Hmm. Good day to you. <laughs>